guys, uh, welcome to Westbridge, uh, a little, um, uh, my testing map, essentially, and today we have some new, um, ACO challengers, aka Kitty, um, we have the, uh, stealth version, um, in pink, um, and then over here we have traditional, so this is the 775E, um, series, um, with uh, some pretty neat features actually um, so we have the main light then we have um, the main work light and then we have the rear working lights then of course we have um, cabin light and then inside our tractor here uh, we have the ability to um, oh it doesn't like when I have the HUD hider on could lift our steering wheel we can turn on our main lights turn those on and off um, we can, um, turn on our main work lights, turn those off, we can turn on our rear work lights, turn those off, we could turn on our cabin lights, um, we can, I don't know if you can see this, but we're moving our tracks in and out. So that's a cool little feature. Um, if I go back in and uh, cab, I'll move the tracks back out. Um, not quite sure if the wheels will follow the tracks. So I'm going to have to. Uh, figure out a way to make the ti actual tires follow um, the tracks as they go in and out. Um, and then over here we have our ladder that raises and lowers. So we have our ladder lifted up. We can bring our tracks back in. lights we have our ladder lifted up we can open up our hood everything seems to follow um, well open up our door here we can lower the buddy seat we can lift up the armrest um, Let's go ahead and start this baby up. So I redid the interior uh, quite a bit. Um, so what does this all have? It has, um, obviously it has the working lights. Let's turn on our cabin light. drop this down a little bit um, the uh, door latch moves so pretty happy with how it's turning out so far textures look really good uh, added 
did uh, backup lights. Has the uh, suspension cap, so you can see that bounce. And then we got all of our blinkers. So we're going down the road. Got our speed gauges working. Suspension cabs working. Pretty nice. smaller track tractor compared to obviously our bigger kitty here um, that's pulling the um, 50 foot disc it's um, quite a bit narrower overall I don't think I actually have seed in this planter right now, but we still unfold it. So you can just see how these these textures look on this tractor. So what we'll do is we'll drop this planter down a little bit. And then um, what I uh, would like to do is move those tracks out again. seed in the planter right now but you can see what it uh, what it look like pretty nice uh, outfit we go to our planter cam here um, get a better appreciation of This hood, the hood came out really nice with the transparency. It might be a little bit too transparent, but um, built the three-point hitch on this one. I don't really use a three-point hitch for much, much of really anything, but um, it does look nice. Um, fully functioning, so I just have to go find some stuff to eventually um, use it. And then obviously we have our stealth version here. Kick on the light, see uh, the other kitty. So, also like this texture. I like how it really uh, kind of really makes the interior of this thing pop with the new uh, 
the new seat I put in, um, new uh, floor mats, uh, burnt in a lot of texture so there's no ad strips except on the, the hood. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a nice little uh, addition to the cat, cat uh, or I guess I should say the Challenger family. Um, I think we're going to use it as a planting tractor, probably a DN, a DN, I uh, like to broadcast, and um, maybe some 2100 uh, vertical ripping, and who knows, uh, once I get a land roller built, we could probably use that to uh, put moisture back into the soil, so thanks for watching.